Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police with Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog breaking the trail in the relentless pursuit of lawbreakers in the wild days of the Yukon. Back to the days of the gold rush as Sergeant Preston with his wonder dog Yukon King meets the challenge of the Yukon. This is the Yukon, the territory patrolled by Sergeant Preston. The land of the great stampede for gold, a land overrun by adventurers hardy enough to endure the rugged wilderness in their quest for sudden riches. Wounded Moose, about 100 miles southeast of Dawson. Late in the fall, just before the freeze-up, the miners in the surrounding area brought their hard-won gold to Wounded Moose for shipment back to the States. This was the time when a ruthless gang of hooded bandits chose to strike. Within a week, they committed a dozen robberies and had the entire area gripped in a reign of terror. Oh, take your hands off of me. Stop it! Keep Stop quiet it. and you'll be all right, Mr. Oh. Coffee. Go and get him. Coward, Steve! Mask in your faces to do the devil's We'd work. We'd better tie her up before she has a whole town on us. What's the meaning of this outrage? You ruffians will pay for this. Mark my words. Save your breath, Judd Sparks. We're taking you down to your bank to open the safe. And if you value your life, you'll come along quietly. If you think for one minute I'm going to turn my depositor's money over to you, I... I know you will. Take him out and put him on a horse. Oh, what about my housekeeper here? She'll be all right. Probably the first time she's had her mouth shut in 40 years. <laughs> come on, ride. Mr. Sparks, sir. How did it happen, Mr. Sparks? Oh, oh my. Why didn't you do that first, you ninny? Sorry, sir. Were we robbed? $20,000 worth. They forced me to give them the combination of the safe. Who did? Those hooded men. But this time they've gone too far. I'm calling a town meeting. In conclusion, I suggest that we here in Wounded Moose organized to fight these hooded men who prey on us. I'm prepared to head such an organization to stamp out the lawless element here in our town. Seems to me Banker Sparks is getting civic-minded all of a sudden. These holdups have been going on for a week. The fact that your bank was robbed last night have anything to do with the Judd? No one invited you to this meeting, Luke Redding. I invited myself, Judd. I thought I'd better be present when you accused me of being the leader of the thieves. I didn't say that. You did. You never had the stomach to face up to me personally, Sparks. But you've been saying it behind my back around town. Yes, I've said it. I'll say it now. Your cafe and hotel are breeding places for crime. I run an honest place, Judd. I don't let anyone say otherwise. Honest. <laughs> honest, he says. A former jailbird. You take that. It's true, isn't it? Maybe it is. That has nothing to do with the way I live now. Suppose we let our vigilante committee be the judge of that. I have a better idea, Banker Sparks. Let the Mounties judge. Mounties? Yes. Let them find the hooded bandits. They'd send one man. One man against a gang. Is that your idea of police action? Oh, I see. You think you and your men can handle one Mountie, eh, Redding? I told you I don't like to be accused. Well, I do accuse you. We're running you and your Confederates out of this town. And you'll not be able to stall us off with your idea of sending for a Mountie. I've already been sent for, gentlemen. Sergeant Preston. Word came to our headquarters about trouble and wounded moose. I suppose we all sit down quietly and discuss the matter. I'd like to have all the details. Joe, you take over the game for a while. Well, Sergeant, I thought you'd get around to me before the day was over. Come into my office where we can talk for a while. Thanks. Come on, King. I'm going to come right to the point with you, Redding. You're under suspicion. 
So, Banker Sparks convinced you too, eh? No. No, as a matter of fact, I looked up your record before I came here. That's an interesting stick pin you have there. Sentimental souvenir. All right, you know. So I was the leader of the Vipers. But that's all in the past now. Sergeant, I spent six years in prison. I paid for my crimes. I'm straight now, believe it or not. No need to get your feathers ruffled. We don't believe in hounding a man. Well, what do you call this? But we do believe in keeping our eye on all possible suspects. Well, Sergeant, I'm not the man you're looking for, even though the honorable banker Sparks accuses me. Then who is, Redding? What's your guess? It could be anybody in Wounded Moose. My guess is that the hooded riders are men from this town. They pull their crimes, ride out, take off their hoods, and come back separately. <laughs> That's not much help. That's all the help I can give you. Well, thanks, Redding. Well, King, looks like we're going to have to solve this one without any outside help. But we've done that before. Get Judd Sparks to help you, Sergeant. What made you say that? It's logical, isn't it? His bank was robbed, he said. Look here, Redding. If you're withholding evidence... No tangible evidence, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hauser. Oh, clumsy of me, Mr. Hauser. But I'm late for an 11.30 appointment, then. Well, I think nothing of it, Mr. Sparks. Thank you. I'm going out to have a look at that river property Mr. Hover wants a loan on, Struth. Be back after lunch, promptly at one. Very well, Mr. Sparks. Everything all right, Mr. Hauser? Fine. Fine, fine. fine. Must keep our depositors happy. It's a good day, sir. And goodbye. Is Mr. Sparks in? No, Sergeant. Uh, you just missed him. He's out looking at some loan property. Is it important? Oh, I guess it can wait. What time do you expect him back? At one o'clock. He'll go home for lunch as usual first. Uh, may I do anything for you? Well, perhaps. How many others besides you and Sparks know the amount of cash that's kept on hand in the vault? Uh, no one, to my knowledge. It isn't information we make public in a district like this. No, I suppose not. From what you just said, I uh, judge Mr. Sparks to be a man of regular habits. Oh, indeed, Sergeant. In at nine, lunch at twelve, back at one, locks up at five on the dot. Except when something special comes up, like today. Mm-hmm. Uh, where is this property he's looking over? About ten minutes walk down river. But you're more likely to find him at home now, Sergeant. Well, thanks, Mr. Struth. Come on, King. Come on, King. Oh, oh, oh. What are you trying to tell me? Oh. Somebody dropped their bank book. You don't miss a trick, do you? Come on, King. As usual, I'll pass along the orders from the chief. There's a thousand dollars in dust at the express office. It's been collecting for weeks for the boat pickup tomorrow. We'll get it tonight. What about the Monty? We've thought of that. He'll be far away, his mind on other things. Such as you're not killing him. Not Preston. His dog, King. Ah, and rid ourselves of the greatest tracker in the Yukon at the same time. And this time, instead of turning the loot over to me as you did before and slipping back to your own cabins, we'll meet here and divide everything. 
With Preston snooping around, the bank is no longer safe. So we're bringing the gold here. About time. I haven't seen the color of any money yet. It's safe where no one would dare to look for it. If we let any of you men throw money around town, people will be asking questions. As usual, we'll meet here at 8 o'clock for final orders. Is that clear? <laughs> Alive. It's Sergeant Preston and King. Hello, Mrs. Guffey. You come in, the two of you. Mr. Sparks in? No, he isn't, Sergeant. He's late for lunch, and he's always so prompt. Yes, yeah, so I understand. Won't you sit down and make yourself comfortable while you wait? Well, thanks, Mrs. Guffey, but uh, I can see him later at the bank. Here he is now, and me with his lunch getting colder by the minute. Will you excuse me? Certainly. You wish to see me, Sergeant? Yes, I'd, uh, I'd like to clear up a couple of points about the bank robbery. But your lunch is waiting for you. Well, I would like to get back to the bank for one. Uh, I'll tell you what, why not drop by and have supper with me tonight? Then I can give you all the time you wish. Well, you sure it's not too much trouble? You come along at 6.30, Sergeant, and bring King with you. Fine. Come on, King. King, stay down. You all right, fella? Thank goodness he missed you. Dead dog, King. Play dead. Play dead, King. I heard a shot. You got a gun with you, Luke? Well, yes. Let me have it. Well, don't get the wrong idea, Sergeant. I was just having a little target practice on the way back to town. Good heavens, man. You don't think I'd shoot your dog, do you? Why not? It's been tried before. Better come back to my cabin with me. I'm taking him along. Sergeant Preston had known at once that the bullet meant to kill King had missed, but had not come from Luke's pistol. Preston had pretended suspicion of Luke to allay the fears of the real gunman, thus hoping to catch him later with other members of the hooded gang for he felt this unsuccessful attempt on King's life was made to hinder the investigation of the bank robbery. I'm gonna be honest with you, Luke. I don't think you had anything to do with the attempt on King. Well, that's a relief, Sergeant. I could see all along that he wasn't hurt. That doesn't necessarily eliminate you from the list of robbery suspects. You could have ordered it done. Yes, I suppose so. But it isn't true, Sergeant. I'm not a member of that gang. And I'm inclined to believe that. Up to a point. You have every right to suspect me, I know, until you run down the real crooks. But look here, Sergeant. Why don't you let me help you? I'll do anything you say. Nothing means more to me now except to clear my name. Yes, as a matter of fact, you might well fit into my plans. Just try me. That's all I ask. What do you know about Butte Hauser? Oh, only that his claim failed, and he makes money doing odd jobs. Plays cards at my place once in a while. Does he ever have much money to spend? Well, if he does, he doesn't spend it at my place, Sergeant. Matter of fact, he's on the cuff now for a couple of dinners. Have you any idea who wrote this note? No. No, I'm afraid you pulled another blank, Sergeant. But then I'm not a handwriting expert. Uh, I guess I'm not much good to you after all. On the contrary, Luke. If you were dishonest, you'd be quick to make a positive reply to divert suspicion from yourself. I'd like to help in some way. You can. But right now, go back to your cafe. Make it known that you're a suspect. Let everyone think that, uh, that you have a grudge against me because I think you killed King. Well, I know, but King isn't dead. Well, up to now, you and I are the only ones that know that. The would-be assassin thinks he is. I'll get word to you if I need further help. 
Sergeant, you've no idea how much this means to me. Well, now, now comes the tough part, old fellow, for you. You have to stay here while I go on alone. Understand? Come in, Sergeant. Sorry to disturb you at this late hour, Mr. Sparks. I suppose you were just getting ready to leave. Truthfully, I was, Sergeant. It's five o'clock, but if there's anything I can do... Well, I thought I might get a lead on the bank robbers from your deposit records. That needn't detain you. If you show me where you file the slips and leave me a key, why, as soon as I'm finished, I'll lock up and return the key to your home later. I think you're digging in barren soil, Sergeant, but you're certainly welcome to try. I uh, understand that crook Luke killed your dog this afternoon near my place. That's really too bad. Well, all I have is circumstantial evidence against uh, Luke. Oh. Well, there you are, Sergeant. You'll find all the deposit records for the past six months in that box. If you wish to go back further than that... Oh, I think not, Mr. Sparks. This should be sufficient. Very well. Don't forget, dinner at 6.30. And I'm sorry about the dog. I'll be there. And thanks for both your help and your sympathy. It's the least a man can do. See you at 6.30. Sergeant. Hello, Luke. Good to see you. Well, I spread the word around about King and me, as you ask. Yes, I know, and you've done a fine job. I haven't much time. I have to be at Sparks' house in a few minutes. I need some more information. Sure thing. You know this area well. Is there an abandoned cabin close to town that the Hooded Riders might use for a meeting place? Well, yes. Yes, it could be that old shack down by the river where Larry Barnes used to live. I'll slip over there immediately and see if the place shows any evidence of being used. I think I know who the mastermind is behind the Hooded Riders. I have reason to believe they're meeting sometime tonight. I may need your help. I'm your man all the way. Well, fine. I'll slip away from your unseen. Be at my cabin at 9 o'clock and I'll meet you there. And I advise you to wear those clothes. It might be a little rough. Sure, sure. Oh, uh, that reminds me. When I changed into these duds earlier, I left that stick pin of mine in my tie. When I got back this afternoon, I discovered it was gone. Of course, it's possible I may have mislaid it, but I believe it was stolen. Do you suspect anyone in particular? No. But why anybody would go to the trouble is beyond me. It's only worth a few dollars cash. Or maybe a man's future. Well, Sparks is waiting for me. I'll see you at night. Make yourself comfortable, Sergeant. The evening's young. Well, thank you. It's been a long day, and it isn't over yet. You mean, you mean you found... No, no, I mean, no day is really over until midnight. <laughs> a great sense of humor, Sergeant. I like that in a man. <laughs> Leave the pen right to the safe. Sorry, you have to leave so early, Sergeant. Where's Sergeant Preston? Right here, what's the matter? The hooded riders, they've robbed the express office. Impossible. When did this happen? They blew the safe not more than a half hour ago. If I'd known you were here, I'd... Well, they can't have ridden too far. I may be able to track them down. Uh, without King? Well, I'll have to do the best I can.
Come in, Luke. I see you've heard the news. Yes. Well, we haven't much time. I'm going to deputize you so you can assist me. There's nothing I'd like better. Oh, and by the way, I checked the old Barnes place, and it is being used. Did you bring a horse? Well, yes, but if we're only going to the express office... Well, well you're not. I am. While King and I try to pick up a trail, you ride out to the old Barnes place. Conceal yourself where you can keep an eye on the door. Unless I miss my guess, that's the rider's hideout. Now, if the gang does show up, try to recognize them without exposing yourself. And I'll join you just as soon as possible. Thanks, Lieutenant Sergeant. And Luke. Good. Be careful, will you? You're going to see a lot of these tonight, old fella. You in? Come on, let's go. It was easy to follow. They didn't bother to cover it up, thinking King was dead. Here, I found this beside the bone safe. That's my stick pin. An obvious plant. How do we stand? They're here. Four of them. And one more to come. It's probably the leader who doesn't participate in the raids. What are we going to do? Uh, capture the leader before he enters the cabin. He's the key man. Meanwhile, I'm going to ask you to enter the cabin wearing this hood. It's important we get as much information as possible for a trial. Now, they may disclose other crimes they've committed. King and I shall wait right outside the door in case anything goes wrong. I realize there's a risk involved, Luke. And if you don't feel like... Say you... no more, Sergeant. I told you I wanted to prove myself. This is the chance. Good. Here. Where have you been? Anyone follow you? No. I hope you're right. We've no time to lose. We'll divide after the chief gets here. That Mountie's after us. Anyway, he doesn't have his dog to help him. It's a good thing this is our last job. If you all value your hides, you'll scatter after we divide up. There's the gold we had stored in the bank from the other jobs. How do we know it's all there? Because I said so. Check it if you like. All the pokes are separately labeled, so you'll be sure to get your share. What's that? Jed Sparks. Hey, Preston. Let's get out of here. Stay where you are. A spy. Let's get him. Hoods off. Yeah. Put your hands up over your heads. I arrest you all in the name of the Crown for robbery and murder. Sergeant, where's Sparks? He's handcuffed to a tree outside. You did a good job, Luke. Let's tend to their wounds and tie these fellows up. We'll pack up that gold and take it back to town. I'm going to walk you men back to town. Just stay in line and obey orders and King won't bother you. I wish I'd have killed him. Well, lucky for you, you didn't. Let's go, Luke. Right, Sergeant. I'm going to see that you get full credit in my official report for your assistance. King deserves a lot of the credit, Sergeant. Yes, he does. Well, start walking, men. King, this case is closed. 